Hello, welcome to REGARD, Regulatory Guidance for Academic Research of Drugs and Devices. So you've submitted your IND to the FDA. Now what? Well, we have provided you with FDA responses that you might expect and how to respond. So if you've submitted your IND, the FDA is going to send you an email to acknowledge receipt. This acknowledgement is very important because it contains the date upon which the FDA will start the 30-day review period. So make a note on your calendar of this date and count forward 30 days. If you have not heard from the FDA within the 30-day period, we suggest that you send a friendly email to the individual named in the acknowledgement for correspondence and ask them if there's any additional information that you need to provide or if you can consider that your study may proceed. If the FDA emails you that they're fine, they need no further information, your study may proceed, you may or may not receive a formal letter. If you receive an email, make sure that you save that email with the date and the name of the person with whom you corresponded and include both the acknowledgement and the email or the study may proceed letter which will have a date that your IND is considered active. And you will need to submit this to the IRB with your application before your study may proceed. Now, if within the 30-day period the FDA has concerns, you may receive a partial clinical hold letter. This could delay or suspend part of your study, but not all of your study. You would need to respond to the partial clinical hold before the full study could proceed. However, it is possible that some of your study may proceed under a partial clinical hold. Be sure to include this letter along with the acknowledgement letter or email in your IRB submission. If, however, during the 30-day review period, the FDA places your study on a complete clinical hold, you need to address all of the concerns to the FDA before your study can proceed. Okay, so let me talk to you for just a second about the 30-day clock. So if you're responding to a clinical hold, the FDA will evaluate any submission to an IND that is identified by the sponsor as a complete response to a clinical hold as soon as possible and not later than 30 days. If FDA determines that the submission is not a complete response to the clinical hold issues, then the regulatory program manager, that's going to be the person who was listed on your uh, clinical hold, will uh, as soon as possible and no later than 30 days after receipt of the response inform the sponsor that the 30-day clock will not start until a complete response is received. So again, the 30-day clock will restart if the FDA determines that your response to the clinical hold was a complete response. 30-day clock starts again. The FDA will review and get back to you to let you know if your study may proceed. If the FDA determines that your response to the clinical hold is incomplete or partial, they will respond to you within 30 days. But the 30-day clock does not start until they receive a complete response. And again, the FDA will respond with either a partial clinical hold or study may proceed. Once your study is placed on a complete clinical hold, it could prolong the review and approval of your IND. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for visiting REGARD.